Hi guys, good evening, how are you doing? Actually, today inshallah, I will deal with the last basic skill, which is writing skill. So, how to practice the writing skill? Uh, in, in fact, from my point of view, I think writing is the most difficult skills that should be practiced among non-natives because I uh, because the writing skill is formal it's not like speaking for instance okay so in speaking for uh, for example you can you can speak uh, as in a broken language but as for writing I think writing is formal when I say formal here that means the mistakes are forbidden okay not allowed so uh, use yes you can we can say that uh, you can make mistakes everybody can make mistakes so making mistakes in writing is normal it's it's okay for that that's fine but when you write something formal to your manager or to get a new job or when you write a composition or a paragraph to the mass media, for example. This is the problem here. That means you need grammatical rules, that means you need new vocabulary and phrases, and something like that. So, I'm not talking here about how to write a word or how to write a vocabulary or to be a good in dictation no i'm talking here about the writing like a paragraph or a composition or if you want to write a resume like cv uh, that means if you want to write something formal official so in this case we need to ask two questions the first question is, to whom you write? The second question is, what kind of information that you would provide in your writing? So, let's go to find out the answers. The first question, to whom you write? Are you writing to your friends? Are you writing to your classmates? Are you writing to your family? If you write to those people, that's fine. Poor writing is enough. It's okay to make mistakes. But what about if you write to your manager or a company or to the mass media? In this case, you need formal writing. That means the mistakes are not acceptable. Are not acceptable. Okay, the grammatical rules should be advanced in this case. New vocabulary, phrases, sentences also should be provided in your writing. Okay, let's move to the second question. What kinds of information that you would provide in your writing okay so pieces of information items of advice point of view story that happened to you instructions database what kinds of information so let's take an example if you want to write a composition in the exam for instance in this case you need three important things you need a plan you need ideas and you need outlines so in this case you have to make a plan for your writing and you have to organize your ideas and you need outlines to organize your ideas Let's take another example. If you want to write a composition, I want to make a plan. 
What's the plan to choose attractive title, then to write introduction, then to choose how many paragraphs that I should write, three, four, five paragraphs, then to write conclusion at the end. And when I say organize ideas, that means your paragraphs, if, suppose that you have two or three paragraphs, each paragraph should has at least one main idea. That means you can write two ideas or three ideas. Okay? And the outlines, as for the outlines, the outlines should organize your ideas. How to organize your ideas inside the paragraph? Of course, from the outlines. So, you need three important things in your writing. You need a plan, ideas, and outlines. Okay? Now, let's find out the most important thing that you should do when you write something. Formal, of course. Let's move. In this part, I will give you some advice that you should follow during your writing. Firstly, try not to rewrite words and phrases frequently. For example, when you repeat uh, or rewrite the words like on the other hand or uh, in addition to uh, actually like this try not to write to rewrite these words or phrases frequently because your ideas will be uh, unclear and of course your writing will be bad in this case okay the second the second advice uh, try to be advanced in grammar because when you write something formal, you need uh, grammatical rules. That, for example, let's take an example. Uh, in, in your writing, we need uh, active voice rather than passive voice, for instance. Uh, in your writing, we need to know how to write the punctuation and how to write the conjunction. So this is very important. So in this case, you have to be advanced in, in, in grammar. The third advice, there are some words and phrases are not allowed to be written. They are used in spoken rather than written. For example, when you say question tags, for instance, question tags are not used and, and written but used in spoken language and this is very important very important so when you want to write something formal okay you need to make a plan before you write so you can make a draft for yourself and write something randomly to evaluate your writing skill okay just try to make a draft for yourself to write this. Uh, in this case, you can evaluate yourself, and then after that, you can make a plan, organize yourself, organize your ideas for the outlines, and of course, your writing will be very clear. I hope to enjoy with my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. And see you next time, inshallah. Goodbye.